Hello, my faithful viewers. Um, this is more of a uh, kind of a, I don't know, a bulletin uh, that I want to post um, because I am uh, most likely no longer going to be answering any comments on this account, J. Stillwell 1980, because I have opened a new account, uh, same show, but new account um, on Open Air Atheist. That's my new account name and my new account. Um, so I'll be posting videos on there from now on and probably most likely not any more videos on this account. So it will still be the same show, Open Air Atheist, but it's just that now all of the episodes from this point on for this show, Open Air Atheist, will be posted on my new account, which is appropriately named Open Air Atheist. Um, so if my subscribers to this account would be nice enough to subscribe to my new account, Open Air Atheist, I would really appreciate that. Um, there is one video on my Open Air Atheist account thus far, uh, which I pumped out last night, and it's uh, questions for Open Air Preachers, uh, or Open Air, open air Atheist um, questions for Open Air Preachers. So if you would subscribe to that account, um, I would appreciate that. Um, and uh, keep checking back for uh, newer episodes. So if you uh, leave any comments on the videos on this account, you most likely will not get any kind of response from me uh, except for a video response um, for, on my other account. Um, so if, if you would please uh, direct all your questions and comments to my new account, Open Air Atheist, and not this account, I would appreciate it. I am mainly keeping this one open uh, because it would be a shame to, um, you know, lose all of this, uh, all of these episodes on this account. And I want to, um, you know, leave my videos on this account um, up on YouTube because I feel that there's a lot of good arguments on them. Uh, uh, in the in these videos on this uh, J. Still 1980 account, so um, you know this is basically um, my way of being an open air atheist is uh, this YouTube show, um, and <clears throat> I hope to at some point uh, to start doing some open-air atheism from a stool. Um, in other words, find people like Reformed Evangelists, people like Ray Comfort, who are out there open-air preaching, set up a stool uh, right across from them, or even alongside them, and debate them and refute them with the facts of science that they so, uh, so often strawman and misrepresent. Um, so I am challenging my viewers or those who are atheists that do watch this show uh, that you would become open air atheists, um, whether it be standing on a stool and preaching the facts, uh, preaching the facts of science, publishing the uh, facts of science, um, because we are in an information war as atheists. Um, we have these people that are out there on corners um, spreading mass amounts of disinformation. They are spreading mass amounts of religious propaganda which is harmful to our fellow human beings. The, the very idea of faith is harmful because um, believing in something without evidence is harmful. And that is exactly what, uh, you know, what these religious people uh, are doing. They are believing in something without evidence and, and indoctrinating others to do the same. And I think as uh, you know, fellow human beings, we need to um, look out for uh, those people uh, in our human race who are maybe not as educated as we are, who um, maybe are more vulnerable to uh, have a vulnerability to being indoctrinated and being brainwashed uh, in, uh, and um, 
I think if we have the information, we have the responsibility um, because we have the information that other people don't. Um, we have the responsibility to become open-air atheists of some sort, whether it's standing on a stool, whether it's writing blogs, um, whether it's uh, having a cable access show like uh, The Atheist Experience, which I highly endorse that show, um, or even just opening up a YouTube channel. Um, but if you guys, if any of you, my atheist viewers, have uh, open-air preachers in your community, I highly suggest that you go to Walmart, buy a cheap stool, and um, every time you see these open-air preachers out there, get them, heckle them, become an open-air publishing uh, or an open-air preaching atheist. Um, so refute fiction with fact um, and uh, help spread the truth. And challenge I challenge all of my viewers and all the people who stumble upon my videos uh, to not believe anything that I say or to accept it on faith or to accept anything on faith but to ask questions and uh, to embrace what is true and what is what can be proven and uh, what can't be proven uh, just throw your hands up in the air and go, you know what, I don't know. We don't know yet. We don't know whether, uh, how everything came into existence exactly. We have Big Bang models, we have ideas and theories, but no one really knows. And to plug God in that gap is irrational. And uh, there is no reason for it. There is no logical reason to plug God in any kind of gap or purple pixies for that matter. Um, so it's okay not to know everything. It's okay to admit you don't know. Uh, instead of trying to say the God of the Bible did it, or the God of the Quran did it, or the God of the Hare Krishnas, or what have you, uh, or the God of Mormonism. It's okay to just say, you know what, I don't have evidence for this, and uh, until I do, I'm, you know, just honest enough to say I really don't know how everything came into existence. Here are some theories and um, yeah. So uh, anyways, didn't mean to go off on some tangent, but please um, please do what you can to uphold the truth, to um, to help those who are blinded in ignorance, who are self-diluted or in danger of being self-diluted. With that said, please subscribe to my new, uh, my new account, my new YouTube account, Open Air Atheist. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the comments you have, uh, my viewers have, you know, put down thus far in my videos and my comments pages. Uh, thank you for all that you do, and um, please stay tuned for further epi episodes of Open Air Atheist on Open Air Atheist, my new account. Thank you very much, and don't die.